I'm Mari Cartel, LifeScript.com, and I'm here at the beautiful La Quinta Resort for the Clinton Health Matters Conference. And look who I have here, Mary Sue Milliken, who is the most extraordinary chef. She's going to tell us all about her healthy meal at lunchtime today. Everybody's raving about your food. They're saying it was fantastic. I toyed around with a few ideas, but as soon as I kind of thought, why don't I do it vegan, 100% vegan, in honor of President Clinton's leadership and his vegan transformation and his diet, um, and try to make it so that even meat eaters would be completely satisfied and happy and excited to eat it. Okay, so tell me what, what you were serving in there. I served a, a kabocha squash and carrot bisque which was really just roasted squash with caramelized onions and a little garlic and thyme pureed. And then I made a chili lime pepitas, toasted pepita pumpkin seeds, and garnished the soup with that to give it some richness and a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil and some uh, herbs. I used chervil because it's winter time and the chervil's gorgeous right now. You travel to come up with these wonderful recipes. Tell me a little bit about that, actually living in the moment and eating the food in, where you are. Well, I, um, I started traveling to Mexico uh, 25 years ago a lot, because, and because a lot of my employees are from Mexico, I just, had, uh, just dove into the cuisine and I love the flavors there. And that actually the second course of the lunch today was a tostada with a heirloom bean salad, which is sort of based, the tostada of course, which had um, a chipotle vinaigrette, which is a smoked chili, um, is stuff that I learned when I was down in Mexico work. And I'd like, when I'm in traveling in another country, I like to eat in the marketplaces. That's where the best food can be found, not in the fancy restaurants, but really it's a great um, little travel tip. You know, a lot of people are afraid to do that, by the way. Yeah, I don't think you need to be afraid to do that because, you know, I um, I look around at all the different stalls and the vendors and I, I kind of take, take a minute to choose where the most business is and where the people look like they really care and I can look in their eyes and I've never gotten sick from eating from stalls at the marketplace. Is there some epiphany that you had personally that made you want to change, change up things? Well, I'm, uh, I'm obsessed with food. I think about it from morning till night. I study it, I think about it, I wonder how it was prepared, how it was raised, if it's an animal, how it was grown, if it's a plant. Um, and, you know, I think having a family, I have two, two boys that are 23 and 15, and that changed a lot about my, um, my approach to food. It, you know, before that, it was, um, it, it's very easy to make food taste good with salt and sugar and fat. It's, it's, you can hide behind that as a chef. And, and I, I could see through that as a young culinarian, and I thought, you know, this really isn't sustainable. <laughs> it's kind of cheating. So um, I've just been focused on, on how my talent could translate into some solutions for the general uh, public and some who have very little time and very little access to fresh fruits and vegetables and, and maybe haven't got, had the opportunity to create good habits in their cooking. What is the one signature ingredient that you think really does enhance the flavor of just about everything? Well, uh, salt, of course, is <laughs> you can't live without it. Okay, let's try the healthy ingredient. <laughs> okay, well, like the chipotle chilies, those smoked jalapeno chilies that I put in the salad dressing today, they are like crack for people who used to love to eat bacon in, in everything. This has um, got a total smokiness and sweetness and a, and a little bit of zing, a little bit of spice. So um, I use chipotles in salad dressings, in tamales, in salsas. I use it all in a million different ways. And in your home kitchen, it, it could really, you know, make, make a lot of food come to life and sparkle. Well, I know what I'm going to go hunting for now. Um, last question, because I can't let you sneak off here without asking you this. You've got to have a guilty pleasure that, that you go after that, that kills all the cravings. Well, um, I don't even have a sweet tooth, but there's something about Haagen-Dazs ice cream <laughs> that I love. And I, it is a guilty pleasure. I try really hard to, um, when I was young, my husband and I could sit in bed and eat a whole pint between the two of us. But now we try to make a pint last, you know, at least a week.
between the two of us. So we're just having a few tablespoons, but that's enough. You know, I find if I just get a couple tablespoons of, and then I love all the flavors, so. <laughs> well, you know, that's a major food group. Yeah, ice cream is one of the best food groups out there. <laughs> I want to thank you so much for taking time out with me. This was a pleasure. Thank you for having me. My pleasure, too.